Good evening and welcome to August 28th Valley View School District Board Meeting. Mr. Berdouris, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Ms. Perro, could you please read the affirmation and the board education mission statements? Our mission is to empower all learners to be college and career ready and to develop, grow, and achieve as productive citizens. Dr. Mitchum, the agenda, please. Yes, Mr. Zach. I, I'd ask that the board approve the agenda as presented. So moved. Roll call vote, please. Member Baduris? Yes. Member Perrell? Yes. Secretary Pro Tem Campbell? Yes. President Pro Tem Zach? Yes. Mr. Gervasi, the Treasurer's Report, please. I think it's, I think it's consent, me. Consent agenda? Yeah. I'd like to ask that the board approve consent agenda items 5-1 through 5-10. 5-1 board meeting minutes, 8-14-17, 5-2. Executive session meeting minutes, 8-14-17. 5-3 administrator and teacher salary and benefits report. 5-4 gifts for Lukanzik Middle School, 5-5. Student activity contract approval request, Pioneer and Jamie McGee Elementary School with Scholastic Book Fair, 5-6 resolution number 1593. Semi-annual review of executive session minutes to determine need for continued confidential treatment and authorization for destruction of, of executive session tapes. More than 18 months old, 5-7 statement of completion for life safety work. 5-8 student activity contract approval request, Bolingbrook High School with Century Resources. 5-9, approval of request to continue. 5-10, trips for Romeoville High School. So, second. Any discussion? Roll call vote, please. Member Perrell? Yes. Member Baduris? Yes. Secretary Pro Tem Campbell? Yes. President Pro Tem Zach? Yes. Student and staff recognition? Uh, there are no student and staff recognition tonight. Liaison report. No liaison report. Audience part participation. Hearing none, seeing none. Action reports, Mr. Mitchum? No report. No report. Action reports, Assistant Superintendent? Uh, that would be me. I've got one action report this evening. Uh, we are seeking approval to purchase and implement a new student information system and associated modules and applications. Uh, as we indicated in the uh, board information report at our previous board meeting, the current system has in, been in place since 1984. Uh, the key benefits of a new student information system are delineated in the, uh, in the uh, action report in your packet, so I won't uh, read those uh, to you. You can uh, check those out. Um, also listed are the functions and applications that will be implemented or consolidated in this new SIS, as we refer to it. Uh, also in there for your information is a timeline, uh, beginning with our middle and high school support staff functions, um, going live, if you will, in the winter, uh, spring of 2018, uh, followed by educator functions at the start of the new school year, 2018-19, 
uh, elementary support staff functions would go live in the winter spring of 2018. Family functions, uh, the portal for checking uh, various grades and associated uh, student information would uh, begin at the start of the 18-19 school year and st elementary student educator functions at the start of the 19-20 school year, uh, primarily due to the uh, standards-based report card um, integration. Um, financial information uh, has changed a bit from uh, what we presented uh, at, the, at the information report, again, at the prior board meeting. Um, and those are listed there. I can, I can highlight those very quickly. Uh, there's three months of savings um, that are reflected uh, to uh, coincide with the official start date of October 1st rather than uh, July 1st. Um, the district will not be charged for any modules uh, that are put in use until they're fully functional. Uh, that's uh, resulted in many thousands of dollars in savings. Uh, and there's also an error in calculating the hourly rate for offsite project implementation. Um, resulting in a $13,000 savings. So overall, the cost from what we presented uh, two weeks ago uh, has decreased by just under $65,000, uh, which is obviously uh, a good thing to report. Uh, and so, um, absent any questions, uh, we are uh, requesting approval to replace the district's current student information system uh, with Infinite Campus's student information system. Total anticipated cost for the three years of implementation and use is estimated at $705,383. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, hearing none, roll call vote. Member Perrell? Yes. Member Baduris? Yes. Secretary Pro Tem Campbell? Yes. President Pro Tem Zach? Yes. Ms. Hawks, action report, human resources. Thank you. This evening, action report 12.1 is the consolidated action report for certified and classified personnel. We're seeking your approval on 55 items for certified personnel, 70 items for classified personnel, and one for certified administrative personnel. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, hearing none. Roll call vote, please. Member Baduras? Yes. Member Perrell? Yes. Secretary Pro Tem Campbell? Yes. President Pro Tem Zach? Yes. My second action report this evening is 12.2, resolution number 1594. We are seeking the board's approval to authorize and issue a notice of written charges for dismissal of a tenured teacher from employment for reasons other than reduction in force and to suspend said teacher without pay pending completion of the dismissal process. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, hearing none, roll call vote, please. Member Perrell? Yes. Member Baduras? Yes. Secretary Pro Tem Campbell? Yes. President Pro Tem Zach? Yes. And my final action report this evening is Action Report 12.3, and we are seeking the board's approval on the job descriptions listed below. There are four secretarial positions. Uh, these were brought to you for as an information report at the August 14th board meeting. Um, so we're seeking your approval. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, hearing none. Roll call <coughs> vote, please. Member Baduras? Yes. Member Perrell? Yes. Secretary Pro Tem Campbell? Yes. President Pro Tem Zach? Yes. Superintendent's information report? Yes, with information report 13.1, we are presenting a draft calendar for the 2018-2019 school year. We're bringing this forth for information prior to seeking approval. Um, we held a calendar committee meeting, and the goal of our calendar committee is to create a calendar that is conducive as possible to provide students with quality instructional time. The calendar committee consisted of certified and classified staff members from all grade levels, and we took into consideration state guidelines, required legal holidays, election days, collective bargaining agreement language, and input previously received from various internal and external stakeholders. The draft calendar will be reviewed by parent and community reviewers and will also be available for public preview and comment prior to the subsequent board meeting. And so we will post this online um, at www.vvsd.org. And then, if necessary, we will make modifications prior to bringing the calendar back. Um, we did have um, two board members, Member Perrell and Member Sakura, um, serve on the calendar committee as well. 
and so the calendar is um, posted on Board Docs now and will be made available on our, our homepage for um, the public to preview. Any questions? Okay, thank you. I have the next action report this evening, uh, action report 13.2, and this is regarding classified job descriptions. Um, as we have kind of said over the last couple of months, we've updated our information report. Yeah, sorry. Um, we have updated our secretary job descriptions, and so this is the last group that I am bringing for information. Um, there are five job descriptions here. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions if you have them. If not, I will be seeking approval at the September 11th, 2017 board meeting. 13.3. Uh, information report regarding a spring and summer project update. Uh, the board had uh, a couple meetings back asked to uh, uh, give you an idea of uh, what, what's transpired uh, this past spring and summer construction season. And so uh, with that, we've prepared a, uh, a PowerPoint uh, slide presentation uh, and with that I will turn it over to Mike Lopez our director of facility operations good evening board members uh, senior leadership and community can you hear me okay I'll talk <laughs> uh, good evening board members uh, senior leadership and community uh, what I want to share with you tonight were a few uh, projects that we recently completed over this past few months in the, in the school district. Uh, each year, Valley View undertakes a variety of capital and infrastructure projects in order to fulfill the mission of providing a quality environment that supports the educational needs of the district. And although it's not always immediately evident of the connection, let's say, of a parking lot project to the educational improvements, uh, the indirect benefits do become more apparent once a project has been completed and when the significance can be experienced by students, staff, and the community. A project or improvement is conceived with one or more of these factors in mind. The determination of a project scope is often a result of collaboration between various stakeholders, school administration, staff, senior leadership, department leaders, and the facility operations team. Large capital projects are presented at public board meetings for information and approval, allowing the public to understand the motivation for these initiatives. These next few slides capture the planning, relevance, and delivery of just a few of the projects that have been successfully completed in the past few months. Back in August of 2016, the board had authorized the district to move forward with the relocation of the administration center. This move laid the groundwork for the district to advance a major and long sought after initiative, the expansion of the early childhood program, which I will highlight later on. In order to do so, the district needed to vacate space in the old ad center. The ad center relocation involved moving about 80 staff personnel into a 26,000 square foot leased building on Normantown Road in Romeoville. This was about a thousand square feet increase from the old ad center space, so an efficient use of space was important in this new area. The transition was successfully completed in March of this year with parking expansion completed this summer. The new ad center continues to serve the needs of the uh, district such as staff training, new student enrollment, and administrative support to the schools. Improvements to the Romeo High School campus have been part of a phase approach. Last year, phase one addressed much needed traffic circulation problems in the west or student lot along with parent drop off. This summer, phase two created improvements to the south parking lot, enabling staff and students to navigate in a well-defined flow, providing safety and consistent traffic patterns. Creating an access dr drive directly to Taylor Road also gave the district complete flexibility in directing traffic flow for staff, students, and, and buses. Along with these benefits to the school, a new parking center was created on campus for school buses to support the added transportation of early childhood. The bus lanes on the east side of the campus have been extended to allow single stacking of buses and a smooth flow of, of entering and exiting the site. Already a marked improvement to traffic flow and efficiency has been noted by the school. And as with many of the projects, the impetus to make improvements is usually multifaceted. For instance, at Romeoville High School, replacing a deteriorated parking lot and underground utilities presented an opportunity to evaluate and improve the functionality of the entire site. 
At Romeoville High School, the construction included improvements to the storm sewers, the site drainage, and adding and expanding sidewalks for students and staff. The results of phase one and two improvements at Romeoville High School include clearly delineated traffic patterns and flow for buses and cars, dedicated bus parking for the added fleet for early childhood, providing a stable infrastructure such as underground utilities, stormwater, and pavement for the foreseeable future, and establishing a, the groundwork for future improvements such as plans for locating the main entrance on the east side of the campus. As with Romeoville High School, the improvements to the J.R. Tibbet campus have been part of a phased approach. Last year, phase one addressed much needed traffic circulation problems between parent and bus drop off, as well as playground separation from traffic. Phase two was completed this summer and expanded and, and improved the flow of parent pickup and drop off and created a safe pedestrian approach on the campus with sidewalks and striped lanes. Details on a project such as this are discussed with the school administration in order to enhance the project. A good example is, is something as simple as changing the type of curbing along the drop-off lane. Here at Tibbet, the old curbing that was planned to be removed had a rolled profile, which presented challenges for kids when they stepped off of the sidewalk. Some of them were actually slipping off uh, in, in inclement weather. The new curb profile was changed to allow for sure footing when moving from the sidewalk to the pickup lane. Responding to school-driven needs such as, as this helps to enhance and define the success of these projects. TIB is also a perfect example whereby the improvements to the campus have resolved numerous challenges that the school had faced, such as bus and car safety circulation, a dedicated student drop-off zone, safe playground zones, and enhancements that support the educational vision. This last point references the school's desire to promote environmental consciousness as Tibbet is one of the leaders in the outdoor garden initiative and the incorporation of rainwater and bioswale technologies into the classroom. Aside from large capital investment projects, the district is continuously making improvements to our facilities. These take many forms as shown here with a singular goal in mind to maintain high-performing learning environments and to support our published Valley View strategic plan, which specifically includes, quote, providing a safe, secure, and optimal learning environment, and to allocate, execute, and evaluate the use of financial resources to ensure our communities receive a favorable return on their investment. A unique example of receiving a, re a favorable return on investment would be the installation of solar panels at five of our schools. These panels will and actually are currently producing electricity at a significant savings to the district. In January of this year, the board approved the installation of all five solar arrays based on several months of research and data-driven projections on the performance of these systems. These were publicly presented at several board meetings over the past year. These schools were selected to coincide with recent roof replacement projects as the panel system has a longevity similar to or greater than that what the roofing system is. Along with the actual energy savings produced on a daily basis by these panels, the Illinois Power Agency, or IPA, which is the state governing agency for renewable energy, has purchased solar renewable energy credits, or SREX, uh, from Valley View School District. These credits are a tradable commodity in the energy market, and the SREX provide further revenue to the district for the use of solar energy. The combination of elect electricity savings and SREX income provide, produces a, high quality, a highly favorable return on investment for the school district. And some of these solar investments uh, are both shown and described herein. These are, uh, uh, this is a drone view of the completed project at all five schools. This was completed uh, in July, July 12th of, of this year. Uh, so it's very recent. Uh, all projects were completed on time. As mentioned, these are compatible with the recent roof projects that were uh, performed last year. And the combined uh, energy produced by these five schools is 5.5 million kilowatt hours. Uh, that actually represent that's the actual, I'm sorry, that's the actual electricity that's required by these schools. And the actual production of electricity by these solar panels is 3 million kilowatt hours. So about 55% of the, of the uh, electricity used in these buildings uh, is now being produced by, by solar panels. If you take the uh, assumption that 25 years of panel productivity along with the renewable credits for that period of time, uh, we're looking at about a $16.6 million 
energy savings, and, and uh, once you retire the debt, the debt service for that is about $6 million. So the net savings to the district over 25 years would be over $10 million. So the last project I want to share tonight is the expansion of the Early Childhood Center. The Early Childhood Program has a capacity of about, had a capacity of about 360 students prior to the expansion. The expansion has enabled the district to nearly double its capacity and provide much needed educational opportunities for many more of the three to five year old children and their families in our community. The construction started in late March on the heels of the relocation of the offices of the new ad center. This time frame was extremely challenging given that the need to have the early childhood up and running by this school year was critical. Uh, the vacating of the ad center provided 25,000 square feet of interior space to expand the early childhood. The interior space was reconfigured from an office layout to add 12 additional classrooms and support spaces. The exterior work included the expansion of the north and south parking lots, increased pickup and drop off lanes, and provisions for an expanded parking lot. The expansion project has produced some interesting spaces to enrich the learning environment, and these include hallways and lobby areas that encourage collaborative breakout spaces for staff and students, reading and learning nooks within classrooms and in hallways, activity spaces that promote play and learning in multiple venues, such as uh, their jungle, what they call their jungle room, which is their large activity room, which is where the uh, ribbon cutting was last week, uh, and also the library and their multi-purpose room. A simplified floor plan that connects all the existing and new spaces along the visible sight lines, and the existing or east wing also received extensive improvements to each classroom to be compatible with the new rooms. Some major infrastructure improvements were also included, such as secure building entrance with controlled access, new heating and cooling systems with individual room control. This was critical for this more sensitive population of students. LED lighting with motion sensors and dimming capability, new double pane insulated windows uh, in the existing wing to provide greater comfort and visibility, and new underground utilities to el eliminate problematic storm and sewer issues in the building. This next slide here speaks to the uh, uh, projected cost and the actual construction cost of these projects. I think Gary wanted to uh, chime in here. We wanted to give the board and the community a sense of, of where we stood with these projects uh, as it relates to budget. And so on the left-hand column, you'll see the original uh, construction budget estimate. On the right-hand side uh, is the total construction cost to date, including any change orders that, uh, that we've encountered. And so um, with the Normantown Admin Center build-out, um, we originally projected the district portion to be 1610000 uh, And we were a bit over that with uh, additions for things like generators, fencing, things that, uh, uh, landscaping, things that uh, were a, a bit above the original uh, construction uh, uh, budget. Um, improvements to RHS, uh, we combined phases two and three this past spring summer, uh, originally projected at 3.3 million, um, came in at 2.68. JRT had a similar um, uh, decrease in from construction to actual, um, almost 300, over $300,000 there. Uh, the five school solar project uh, was under by uh, uh, about $26,000 uh, and early childhood expansion uh, was, uh, was up uh, over $200,000. Uh, overall, uh, we had anticipated a $19.5 million construction budget uh, and uh, we came in at uh, currently at 18.8 .8, or uh, just over three and a half percent under budget. So. Um, I know the board had some questions about uh, the bond proceeds uh, and debt certificates that were approved and, and where that money is spent. Uh, the balance of, of the proceeds um, were uh, projects that uh, we completed last summer, the roofs at five of the schools. Um, we did a uh, complete modernization of the mechanical system at Brooks uh, Middle School. Um, we uh, added uh, mobile two mobile classrooms, actually four mobile classrooms at Independence. Um, we did phase one uh, of the uh, site work that Mike alluded to at Romeoville High as well as at JRT. Uh, and we've got a couple set-asides, if you will, for um, uh, KLH, Her uh, Hermanson Elementary site improvements, as well as an um, office remodel at Romeoville High. Uh, so uh, overall, we've got uh, a full accounting of, of all of those proceeds uh, and where the money uh, and how the money was spent. So.
Any questions? I just want to make some, <clears throat> excuse me, a comment. Thank you very much, uh, Mike and Gary, for putting this together. It's uh, nice to be able to show the public the work we did. And if anyone has not seen it at um, Early Childhood Center yet, it is amazing. It is absolutely state-of-the-art, stunning, beautiful. I wish I had little kids to put in there. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Legal service? No formal report. AFT, any report? Valley View Council, any report? Valley View Office Personnel Council, any report? Thank you. Any old business from the board? Any new business from the board? Any questions from the public or actions that we have taken tonight? Any announcements from the board? I just want to say um, I can't comprehend what's going on in Texas right now uh, with all the flooding and a disaster. If you've never lived through a flood, you don't understand it. Uh, 10 years ago, when we, the big flood came here in Westchester and Riverside and all flooded, we weren't in the country. We were outside of the country. We came home to uh, a disaster where my parents lived. So um, prayers to all those people down in Texas. Any announcements by the administration? Uh, I would like to uh, indicate that finally, for, on the third try, the Illinois House has approved an education funding bill. Uh, so we anticipate that the Senate may approve that bill as well. So it's not a perfect bill. We're not quite sure the impact for Valley View School District, but at least uh, there is funding which would ensure that schools don't have to close their doors. So that's good news. Any announcements from the public? Yep. Could you please state your name? Uh, my name is James DeCoster. I drive bus number 53 for Valley View. I've been, this is my third year driving a bus. I am supposed to provide the security for my children. I mean, it's my responsibility to make sure I pick them up and drop them off safely. I am asked to please get to know these students. The problem is I do not have their pictures. I, I, I understand that a few years ago it was possible to see a photo of every student on your bus. I don't have that. It makes it extremely difficult to provide the level of service that I want to provide. So if you guys could do anything about this, oh, I sure would appreciate it. And so would a couple of hundred other bus drivers. Any questions? If I understand you correctly, you're asking that you have pictures of your children so that you know who's getting on your bus at each stop and whether or not they belong on your bus? Precisely. What grade level do you pick up? Kindergarten through high school. Kindergarten through high school? Right. I have approximately 200 students. I need to learn their names. It's difficult. If there's only one or two people at a stop, I can figure it out. Which, which grade level are you most concerned about? All of them, um, especially the young ones. And, you know, when I get 16, 18 of these children to walk onto the bus at the same time. Okay. Um, I think it's best that you make an appointment with my secretary and that we have this discussion um, outside of this venue. I like that. All right. Thank you.
Could I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thank you for attending tonight. Roll call vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you for attending tonight. Motion passes.